In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a project meeting notes template in Word. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create this beautiful project meeting notes in Word. With this template, you'll be able to specify your project name, the purpose of the meeting, the place that is the location of the meeting, date, start time, and then end time. And on this table, you'll be able to list all your attendees and their details. The next table is for agenda and notes followed by actions and finally you will have a portion for next meeting that is the date of next meeting time location and objective so if you want to learn how to create this beautiful project meeting notes template keep watching having open word i go over to layout margins then i choose narrow next i give my design a title project meeting hit enter next i go over to insert and i click on table i need four columns and then three rows so i click next i go ahead and enter my text Next, I come to this column and I enter date. Start, then end. I move out of this table, hit enter, and I enter attendees. Enter. Next, I go to insert. I click on table. This time around, I want four columns, seven rows. So I have four columns, seven rows. Make sure you see four by seven up here. So four columns, seven rows, I click. Next, I enter the titles I want to use for my table. I have my headings. I move out of this table, hit enter. Then I enter my next title, agenda and notes. Hit enter. Next, I go over to insert and I click on table. This time around, I need three columns with five rows. I click on it. I go ahead and enter my headings. I have topic, name, then time. I come out of this table, hit enter. The next table I will need is the same as this. So I can just go ahead and copy the whole thing. Click on copy click in here then click on paste so I just need to change the heading here to actions now go ahead and change these headings so topic I have action to be taken by and finally due date in here I can capitalize it just highlight it then go to change case and I choose capitalize each way I move out of this table hit enter then I go ahead and enter next meeting hit enter next I go to insert then I click on table this time around I need six columns and then two rows I have that then I click in the first cell I enter date I move to the third cell, time, then I jump one cell and I enter location. And in this cell, I enter objective. I can add column to all of them. And now everything of my form is laid. The next thing I'm going to do is start customizing my design. So in here, first of all, I want to add a logo. So I go over to insert, pictures, this device i have my logo in here i select it then i click on insert it is too big i reduce the size from here maybe to this much i want to take the heading to the next line so i just click in here hit enter next i go ahead and center my logo just click on it and i click on center i do the same thing in here highlight it and center then I go ahead and change the font face to Garamond 
I click in here, I have Garamond here. I increase the size to 22. I make it bold. Next, I design this table. I don't want all these lines. So what I'm going to do is I select the entire table by clicking on the cross icon right here. Then I go over to design. I go to borders. Then I click on no border. Next, I click in here. Take note, I still have the cell right here. I just click there, then I click on borders, then I choose bottom border. I do the same thing to the next cell here, bottom border, and then last cell, bottom border. Awesome. Next, I go over to the last cells, that is the last column in here. You won't be able to see it, but when you click, you see your insertion point there. Or better still, you can click here, then use the tab key on the keyboard to move to the next cell. Then go ahead and click on bottom border. Go to the next cell by pressing the down arrow key on your keyboard. Then click on bottom border and do the same thing for the last cell. Awesome. Next, I highlight the whole of this. Then I make it bold. I go over to home and I change it to align right. Perfect. Next, I highlight the whole of this. Bold. So the first table is done. Next, I highlight this heading. I can go ahead and highlight this one as well by holding down control, then click aside it. I'll release control, then I scroll down to the other two headings, hold down control again, click beside here and here as well. I've released control, then I go over to font face and I change it to Garamount. I make it bold and I change the size to 20. Awesome. Next, I go ahead and design this table. So I just highlight the whole of the heading. Then I make everything bold. Next, I'm going to increase some of the columns and decrease some. From here, I hover on this line and I'll get this vertical bar with two headed arrows pointing left and right. Then I move it to this match. And email, sometimes you get long emails. So I'll leave this as it is. And then names can also be long. So I move this to this particular location next is this table so i highlight the whole of the headings then i make it bold name i take the column to match with the column of the email so that i'll have match space for topic and finally time i move it to the column of phone on top here awesome so i'll go ahead and do the same thing to this table Finally, I customize this table. So the first thing I'm going to do is make all this text bold. So I just highlight and click on bold. In here, I bold it up and here as well. Next, I'm going to reduce this column. So I click on this line, then I drag it towards this direction. Next, I reduce this, that is for time. And then this column, I'm going to widen it up to this point. And then the last column, I take it here perfect next thing I'm going to do is remove the whole of these lines so I select this table by clicking on this icon right here then under table choose I go to design then borders I click on the drop down arrow and I choose no border next I click under date then I press the tab key to take me to the next cell I want to create a line under that particular cell so i go over to borders and i choose bottom border i press tab again to take me to time and i press tab again to take me to the next cell i choose bottom border now do the same thing to location awesome and finally the last row i can highlight from here up to the end then i go ahead and choose bottom border perfect see that i have some space in here Maybe I can do something to close the space up. So what I'm going to do is increase the height of some of my tables or maybe all of them. So I select this, go to layout and the table tools. And then the height, I choose 0.6. I do the same thing to this table. Just select it in here. Then you click on the icon here, 0.6. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing to the rest of the tables. Alright, I've increased the height of all the tables and now my design is finished. 
I can use it the way it is or better still I can go ahead and add some color to my tables so I'll start from here I'll highlight the whole of this then I'll go to table design and the shading I choose red and I'll change the font color to white so I'll go over to home the font color I choose white awesome so I'll go ahead and do the same thing to the rest of the headings All right, I've added color to my design to match my logo. Next, I zoom out to see the entire work. Perfect. So that's it on how to create a project meeting notes template. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching, and I'll see you in the next one.